All right, so I just wanted to apologize before we start the video for this knife right there. I wanna apologize in advance. This video, it was a pain to record. My camera kept cutting out. It cut out probably a good five, six times, maybe more. So there's gonna be pieces that I kind of spliced together because it wasn't, it wasn't saving what I was recording. That was the other issue, it was maxing out my phone and it wasn't saving what I was recording, but I think I was able to say everything that I wanted to say about this guy right here. So here's a little sneak peek of it. We're gonna jump into the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Consider subscribing for future videos. Again, in the future, hopefully the videos are a little more streamlined, but here's a sneak peek. We're about to unbox it. Hope you like it. All right, welcome back to Blade District. Today, we're going to be unboxing the Civivi Mini Sandbar. I believe this is the most expensive variation being in a black micarta with Damascus blade. And my first Damascus blade, to be honest, even though I've been to knives for a while, I've never had a Damascus blade. Uh, Civivi does more of a budget version of that. We're gonna check that out and see how it looks, how it feels, the knife in general. It is a small knife. I got a couple, let's start unboxing it. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. As we grow the channel, we're gonna be doing some giveaways coming up. Um, you know, the big numbers to try hit a thousand subscribers, but I'll be doing more before that, probably closer to a hundred and so on and so forth. So we have your Elementum sticker, which has been, um, eh, not too new, but recently new. It wasn't there years ago, I don't think. And here is a knife. So this is a smaller knife. I'm gonna say that right now. I'll go over a few specs in a bit. Let me just move this. Oh wow, that looks nice. This is nice. The micarta. I'm really liking this. So I recently unboxed the QSP Penguin in denim micarta. I'll link it up here. And it's reminiscent of that in the sense that it has a nice texture and it's kind of soft if that makes sense. There's the Eric Oaks right there. Kind of soft uh, in reference to the Kaiser Mini Bag Lighter that I did, which again, I'll link up here if you wanna see that. It was a few, I think three Kaisers I unboxed in that one. That micarta almost felt like G10. It was just super smooth, kinda of had like a, a smooth, hard texture, if that makes sense. So this guy is fairly small. I really like the micarta on this, both the look and the feel. We have what's unique about this titanium pocket clip instead of the typical Civivi clip that is found on a lot of Civivis. Actually, give me one second. I have an Elementum right next to me. I'll pull that up. You know, this typical pocket clip, this one should feel a lot nicer in the hand. Since I have both of these here, we'll quickly just do a, you know, little front face comparison in size. Not that big of a difference. I thought it would be smaller. It definitely is. It has a smaller footprint. The width is a little, hold on, let's get a little closer here. It's hard to tell. Yeah, I wanna say it's a hair thicker, maybe. All right, let's flip this open, see how the action is, see how it feels in the hand. We have a lanyard loop in the back that looks like my Carta as well. We'll see how it feels, see how it looks. Let's go, ready? Beautiful action. So the Civivi Damascus always has this darker tone to it. And that's what we're getting here. Again, my first Damascus, I think it looks pretty sweet. I don't have the most experience with any other Damascus, at least in person, but I think it flows really well. I think the knife, the reason why, another reason why I went, okay, so let me look at the detent. Detent is here which isn't super early, but not late either. Very smooth. So yeah, like I was saying, another reason why I went, oh, that's, pro that's actually really smooth. For a small blade, that is very smooth. Once you get past the D10, mind you, this is still brand new. So like I was saying, I went with this for a few reasons. One, I thought the black micarta looked very elegant. The Damascus also a very, eh, I guess you could say elegant in like an aggressive way almost. All right, so the camera just cut out. I've been having this issue recently. I was saying it kind of has an elegant vibe to it with the black micarta and the Damascus. I think I was trying to say that the Damascus is kind of like an aggressive elegant in a way. And then you have the milled titanium pocket clip. I feel like this is like a, I don't even know how to word it. It's almost like an aggressive yet sleek 
minimalistic gentleman's fold. It's a mix of everything, but I think it just works. I'm a fan of smaller blades at times, and let's see how it feels in the hand. Now, mind you, I have smaller hands, but I can get a full, full four finger grip in it, as you can see. We've got room there. There's no jimping, and that's the first thing I noticed right when I put my thumb up here, that there's no jimping over here. Again, it's a smaller knife. You're probably not gonna go too crazy with it. Lock up, strong as can be. It's not moving, not budging anywhere. Very smooth too, I'm surprised with that. You know, Civivi's kind of been hit or miss out the box at least when it comes to their action. And this one just, it's, it's awesome. It's really good and the D10 is good too. Unlike the Elementum, which I'm gonna pull up right now. I mentioned this in another video. This one, D10, like watch, I could so easily fail it. So going back to the D10 on both of these, because this one, the D10 is very soft. It's very easy to fail extremely easy if you just push it in you see that very easy to fail it's super smooth so if you give it a good push it's gonna whack right open but at least in my example very easy to fail now on this one on the other hand i'm gonna go super soft or at least i'm gonna go slow impossible to fail this one the d10 is just perfect again this is a newer knife and I'm really loving the action as well. The Elementum, super smooth. I've washed this before, or cleaned it out, I should say. It's been a while, but it's still just super, super smooth. This guy though, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with it. There is some milling on this single side, as you can see right there. The knife does weigh in at 2.45 ounces, so it's extremely, extremely lightweight. Blade centering. Spot on. All right, so the camera just keeps cutting out and I'm honestly not sure what video portions are saving. So I'm kind of just going off the top of my head here. I'll be sneaking in some pieces if they didn't record the first time. I was talking about the price at one point when I believe it cut out. Basically this guy right here, it's not the cheapest Civivi in general. Even if you get the version that is with G10 or Micarta with a regular blade, I think it's Nitro V, I'm not 100% sure. But if you get the Micarta without Damascus, it's 79. If you get the uh, G10 without Damascus, it's I think 77 and change. 77 to 79, usually with Civivi, when you go up to their Damascus from their normal line, it could be a $20, $30 price jump or something. But this guy was only $10 more than the Micarta without the Damascus. Uh, $12 more than the, the G10 one. This was $89. Not the cheapest, but again, $77, $79, and then boom, $89. So for $10 more, I figured, let me go ahead and get it. Because I really did like what I thought would be the size, the style and everything. It's comparable to the Elementum as far as handle size, blade length, completely different blade geometry and everything. In the hand, it's definitely smaller. It feels smaller, it's not as wide. But I think this is gonna be a great knife for a lot of people. Again, if it fits their hands, which talking about hands, I did go over this. Again, it might've cut out, so let me grab the tape uh, measure real quick. In one of the videos, which I think did not save, I was going over measuring. So I'm gonna keep my hand flat like this. I'll measure from, uh, let's see, right about here, right above the thumb, which is probably the widest part. And I'm sitting at about uh, three and a half to 3.75 inches, depending on where this, you know, if I keep my thumb out like this, keep my fingers together, depending on where you're starting, it's about three and a half if I go up here. Yeah, three and a half, give or take. And if we go right where the fingers start over here, we're right at about three, three inches. So yeah, pretty small. Like I said, my hands, they're not the biggest. Most, it's my fingers that are skinny, that's the thing. So now if we go from like the tip of my finger, I believe it's a hair over seven inches. It's gonna be hard to do on camera here because of the angle. But yeah, trying to keep it straight, about a little over seven inches from the tip of the finger to about the wrist area. So with that in mind, if you're give or take around that, I think this knife is gonna be a perfect fit for you if you're looking for a smaller knife. For me, I get a full, like I said, four finger grip on this. 
compared to the Elementum, it's very similar, size-wise. <laughs> that D10 is so soft, it's crazy. But if I hold it, as you can see, I'm getting a, a good four-finger grip. This has some jimping up here versus this one. No jimping, but again, four-finger grip. And this just feels really nice in the hand. I love the Elementum, and I gotta say, I love the Mini Sandbar. They're both great knives. Pocket Clip, I compared that before. If it saves, as you can see, we don't have deep carry on the Mini Sandbar. But you're only gonna have, uh, let's see, maybe this much sticking up not even like that and being black micarta with the black titanium clip it's going to really just kind of disappear you're really not going to see it so i do want to apologize real quick the video might seem really choppy the camera kept cutting out and i don't know if it saved all the clips that i recorded so i might not even have everything that i wanted to speak about in this video um, if I don't, you might start seeing sections kind of added in if I want to start talking about other things. But I just wanted to apologize about that because I did not expect this to start cutting out so many times. I think I maxed out the room on this phone that I was using to record, to be honest. All right, so I'm recording this little snippet on another phone camera, I should say, because my other one kept cutting out, but I want to talk a little bit more on these two, okay? So let's just flip them out. I kind of want to just compare them side profile, side by side. Let's take a peek at them. So they are surprisingly very similar as far as the size goes. We've got the pivot almost at the same spot. Um, it's a little deceiving. It almost looks like this guy's longer, but I had it flipped before my camera cut out. Then it makes it look like this guy's smaller, or longer, I should say. They're very, very similar as far as handle goes. So just to compare, if you have an Elementum, I already put the size up of my hands and everything. This is what I'm getting. Full grip, feels great. This does have jimping up here. And now if we just do the same thing, just for comparison's sake, with this guy, as you can see, very similar. It's smaller, I'll tell you that much. Smaller profile, it's just thinner over here. Blade length, I believe, is very, very similar on these two as well. Sharpened edge is also very similar. So some of the main differences are the overall style, both handle, blade shape, obviously for this example, blade material, ebony scales here, micarta here. But if you like the Elementum, I have a feeling you're really going to like the Mini Sandbar. And in this example, at least, it just has much better action. All right, so we finally finished the unboxing and little kind of overview of this guy. The camera kept cutting out, as you saw. It was not the easiest thing to record, but hopefully this helps some folks figure out if this is a good knife for them or not. Be sure to subscribe if you're interested in more knife content and some upcoming giveaways. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. You could also check me out on Instagram at Blade District. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.